you have created a custom record and you've gone to the role of your choice. You scroll down and you went to restrictions and custom record. You gave your role the right permission to the record, maybe on a view mode or edit or uh, create or full. Uh, you save the role, uh, the user logs in and the person cannot actually uh, see the restriction applied to their role. Uh, the reason for this is uh, you have to go to the custom record itself first. You have to go on the access type and either use custom record entries permission, which will be looking at the role itself, or uh, use permission list. Now, I found this to be uh, most uh, efficient because I can manage my permission straight here on the custom record itself. So I could say that the role, let's say sales uh, UK, for example, uh, for that record, the, anyone with that role will only be able to see the record. Uh, but I also want to restrict the ability to edit uh, the record. It's, it's strange to say it like this, but try it, because if you don't do that, they'll be able to see it, but potentially create a new custom record from the transaction that it's on. So it might be confusing to them. So if you set this to editing only, they will view the record, but they won't be able to see or click on the edit or create new uh, record on whatever transaction or entity you set a custom record to. So that's it. It's as simple as that. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you out. Thank you and goodbye.